Hello everyone, this is Roxas1359, and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure DX. Last time, we ended up facing Chaos Zero and finding Tails after he crashed his plane, only to find out Dr. Eggman's true plot of building a terribly named theme park. Seriously, Robotnik Land is a terrible name. In this episode, we're going to go to our second action stage with the Windstone. Go! Oh, it floats. Yeah, I thought I was just going to break it and then it would go somewhere. But, either way, welcome to Stage 2, Windy Valley, which, in all honesty, is one of my personal favorite 3D Sonic stages. I love the music, even though it is a remix of a track from the... I believe it's from the Genesis version of 3D Blast, which I do own. I need to get to the actual Genesis games eventually. Maybe during the summer. But, either way... Let's run down here with our lovely new electric shield and keep running forward because if you stop holding forward on the analog stick right there, you will fall to your death. Because again, there is no automation. Go me! Note to self, when you're also falling down pits, you also need to make sure that you have something below you to land on. God, that was my fault entirely. All right, so let's try again. It's not too bad, because I should never get... I should never get a game over inside Sonic Adventure. If I get a game over in Sonic Adventure, there is something seriously wrong with me. Right, so let's... Quickly... Oh! Dang it. What I was trying to do was get to that life. Oh, well. But now let us fly into a tornado, which does not kill me. Thank goodness. Although I do know so Sonic Shorts, I think, made fun of this. Right, so let's get to the top of... This tornado, uh, maybe we'll find one of the Wicked Witches. And just see her flying around on her broomstick. A little music playing in the background. I have no idea why. I, whenever I see a tornado, I can't think of, but think of the Wizard of Oz. Which I think is a common thing for many people. But either way, up we go. Do not fly into the sun. I tried that one time and it killed me. Now, if you want to, I believe it's uh, right down here. I need the camera to do it right. Uh, I can't seem to. If you jump off one of the ledges, I want to say it's this one right here. You'll actually end up right near the bottom of the stage if you want to. Uh, very helpful if you're going for the A rank mission of this game because I haven't really gotten into it. But there are three different types of missions for each stage under the title C, B, and then A. The C missions are all going to be the story-based ones. The B missions are usually going to pertain to either getting to a certain amount of rings, and then the A missions are to beat the stage in a certain amount of time. But here we have an impasse. We can take the rocket here, but then there's this mysterious line of rings that would require an ability to get later. Or as I like to say, fuck it. Yeah. Spin Dash is... So broken in this game, and I love it because of it. So, go up over this way, and grab that. And now let's go to our next area around here. Oh. Don't worry about hitting the walls right here. You technically won't slow down, and it's just something that this game is programmed to end up doing. For some odd reason, Sonic loves to hug the walls in this stage, and that always happens, no matter what. If you're running, I don't even think it's possible to stay completely still. I honestly think it's impossible to stay completely still inside this stage when you're running along the wind. But, you're right here. Now, I was saying before about Sonic 3D Blast having the remix. The first part of Windy Hill is not the one that has the remix. It's this one right here. I forget which stage it was. I believe it's the first stage of the game, too. But, let's run down right here as Sonic veers towards the wall and starts to hug it because for some odd reason he feels compelled to do so. I love you, wall. Let's me rub my face against you. Alright, going down. And Tails just imploded. Oh. Never mind, maybe he just hit the booster. I thought he imploded for a second. That would have been bad. But, there's the next Chaos Emerald. Uh, how convenient. Thanks, Tails! You know, maybe I was waiting to see if it would give me 40. But, here's our second Chaos Emerald. You know, we're very lucky that these things aren't inside special stages like they normally are. Although I wouldn't mind playing this Blue Sphere minigame again. That's a fun one. 
Sega, please bring back the blue spheres. Please? I'm sick of the half pipe. Also, because I have bad memories of the half pipe, because the 6th and 7th Chaos Emerald inside of Sonic 2 is bullshit for that. The train headed for Station Square will be departing soon. Well, that just so happens to be our next destination. Yep, so pretty much we are done with the Mystic Ruins for right now. There's nothing else we can really do. But you might have noticed this ball of light here. If you, at any point you get lost inside of the story and don't know what to do next inside Sonic Adventure, simply jump into this. Go to Station Square. You may find something. Little ball of light will tell you where to go. Uh, your other clue is the fact that the uh, intercom will say the train to Station Square will be departing soon. That's your other clue. So, let's head back to Station Square and our blue train, which is... I always found it odd. Inside this game, for some odd reason, between the Director's Cut edition and the original version of the game, the train was changed from red to blue. I don't know why that was the case. It just seems so odd. Just like an odd thing. But what do we do inside Station Square now that we're here? Well, we go back to where we ended up fighting Chaos Zero the other day, where I can point out another one of the texture changes, actually. That was a rather big one. And that's actually this building right here. For some odd reason, this was completely changed to gray, which I find extremely bland. In the original Dreamcast port, this is a brick texture that's all over, and I like that. But the other reason why we're right here is we have this stone egg. This is how you will get a second specialty chow egg. If you come inside the novelty shop right here, we have the golden chow egg. What you do is pick this up, but it's a pressure plate. So, oh no, now you can't get out. Well, bait and switch. Fuck you, store owner. And now I abandon this. All right, so let's go and get another emblem while we're out here, because if you go inside the diner, we have an emblem right here. So there we go. Now, you won't unlock your first Game Gear game until you get 20 emblems, so it doesn't really matter. But another thing you can use to weigh it down is this guy right here, which, unfortunately, in the context of the game for how blocky all the models are. See, look, I could be carrying this man's brother. I could be carrying his long-lost brother, who unfortunately seems to have had a stroke and is paralyzed in his body now. And is now floating. Oh my. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god, the girl's freaking out too! What have I done? Book it! Book it! I did not make to mean that guy float. But now we're inside the sewers. And for our sewers, this is rather clean. Huh, I wonder if we'll find Vector inside here. But we need to go up inside right here and grab our first upgrade as Sonic. Now you've got light speed shoes. Press and hold the action button to store up power. Once you have enough power, release the button and you can do the light speed dash. The light speed dash lets you race toward rings at light speed. As long as there's a trail of rings, you can go just about anywhere. Yep, so we have our new move for Sonic Adventure, and that pretty much became a staple inside the series after this. The light speed Ready? dash. Charge it up, and you will go through a bunch of rings. There is a downside to the light speed dash that actually was not fixed really, and even then it was only uh, in Shadow the Hedgehog, and that is if you have an electric shield which draws in rings, you can potentially screw yourself up with the light speed dash. Because what will end up happening is you'll attract the rings too close to you. I have glitched it to myself at least twice to where I have died because I had an electric shield when doing the light speed dash. It wouldn't be until Shadow the Hedgehog that they actually fixed that, and even then they only fixed it for one game. But for right now, our light speed dash is pathetic pathetically slow well simply go right here open this up light speed dash away and we have our second upgrade for sonic uh the aqua blue world ring huh time to go and save sinbad 
This is the crystal ring. This reduces the time needed to store power for the light speed dash. Well, isn't that convenient? Yep, that is one of three upgrades that Sonic actually gets. Normally, characters only get two main upgrades inside of the game, but in Sonic's case, he gets three, and in case of another character, he technically gets, I think, six. But we need the light speed dash in order to get to our third action stage. So, light speed dash up. And we open up the casino, so let's go gambling! And I'm still not old enough. <sighs> what is with me coming to these casino stages when I'm still not old enough? But, looks like this place has a Chaos Emerald available for us. And where is it? It's over inside right here. Pretty much what we're going to have to do for this area is we're going to have to play some gambling slot machines, get enough rings, and then be able to get the Chaos Emerald. You only need 400 rings in order to be able to get the Chaos Emerald, but watch out. When you end up depositing all your rings, you will lose them all. Now, the easiest one to do this one would be simply Pinball, like this one. I'll show off both machines because take a bell peep. So, let's go to the first one right here. Uh, yes, Sonic in a Pinball machine with a good camera angle and not terrible platform physics like Sonic's Pinball. So, we got slot machines, and already I got final Eggman, which means I lose all my rings. Go team! This is why Roxas doesn't gamble, because he always loses constantly. There are easy ways to make rings, but for right now, what you should do is simply let yourself fall. So we only have one ball left. If you want, uh, you can tilt if you hold the analog stick long enough, but it usually takes a long time. I'm gonna be here for a while, aren't I? Come on, come on. Pretty much for this slot machine in general, you have Sonic, Tail, classic Amy's design on there, and I believe Knuckles is one of them. Actually, all of those are the classic designs for Sonic. So, there we go, right into there, and if you have less than 100 rings, you end up into the main part of Casinoopolis, in which you can get a boatload of rings really easily. So, let's do this. This is what I love for Casinoopolis, which is why I'm getting hit. Go me. Alright, so, here's our first area. Pretty much, there are rings everywhere, and Tails will collect rings for you, and unlike, you know, other games, uh, Tails will not lose rings. So, let's go back out. You can get so many rings inside this area, it's ridiculous. Which is why I'm getting hit so much. Go me. I can't see. Right, let's go up. Try and get more rings. I mean, I'm not going to max out all the way because I still need to show off the other area. But pretty, pretty much that's it. But here is our invincibility. I have never come down this pathway before. Now that I think about it. Sake of LP! Oh, God. So that's how you get to that side. Well, I completely skipped every single thing of rings, so looks like I get to come in here again. But this is the invincibility uh, power-up inside the game. And uh, Sonic shakes himself off. And even though I grabbed two invincibilities, I unfortunately did not get the time extended because the game doesn't do that. So let's take a shower. Wait, is this just bouncing off the shield? So I still just really stink. Oh, that's nasty. And another texture change that was changed in this one. Uh, the panels, and actually the tile inside this bathroom were completely changed. It's normally red. I know, it's odd. I, I don't get why they changed so many textures. Now you can get rings from inside the slot machines right here. I was meaning not to do that because normally... If I was competent, I would have gotten more than enough rings to be able to do everything now. Unfortunately, I didn't, so let's just donate these 62 rings. By donate, I mean have them forcibly shaken out of me. And then they turn into gold coins. Wow. That looks pathetic. So, let's now go on to the second slot machine that's inside here, but uh, I want to confirm something. Okay, still here. So, our second slot machine is... A homage to another one of Sonic Team's creations, Knights. You know, Knights, for the Sega Saturn, right? 
Totally got a Saturn, right? Totally. Totally. So how does this one work? Pretty much what you have to do is you will be getting five different cards that are based off of characters from the first Nights into Dreams game. So in this case, we have our Idia. Uh, we have the blue Idia right there. We have uh, one of our protagonists, uh, Claire, and then I just got Elliot right now. Um, oh great, we got an enemy right there. Uh, we got Riala right at the beginning entrance right there. And pretty much, it's sort of like how poker is. Just get uh, same pair, like a two pair, three pair, three of a kind, and pretty much lather, rinse, repeat. Of course, if you end up losing the ball, like I do, then you end up completely messing up. Now, what I want to do is I want to show off the Knight's cameo, but I'm actually getting hit into corners to where I've never normally gotten hit. Go LP Curse. And now we got Riala and Wiseman. That's another game I should do eventually. I should do the Knights series, because I do love Knights so much. One of the only reasons why I would have gotten a Saturn. Thank you! I want to show off Knights! And this is also playing, you know, uh, Knights theme as well, which is great. Alright, I need to open that up. Oh, there's Knights itself. Knights is technically um, ambiguous on purpose. And that's going to do absolutely nothing. So what I need to do is I need to get up to the top to where I normally do. Dang it, go. Ah, come on. So yes, Knights. What do I think of the series in general? It's a fun little series, and it's honestly something I wish that Sonic Team would focus a little bit more on besides that, because, yeah, Journey into Dreams on the Wii wasn't the best, but it, it was still decent. Kind of shattered the whole fact that Knights is supposed to be androgynous, though. Because, I'm sorry, if you've seen how Knights sounds in Knights in Journey into Dreams, that is not androgynous in the slightest. Ooh, three of a kind. I love the font that it does, too, and I have never had this much problem getting inside the area to where I can show off knights. All right, let's... Oh, it's because I keep on hitting that side, and it pulls me in. There we go. Wait, it's not open yet? How is it not open? Either way, let's keep going. Normally, I end up ending it by now, but I want to show off knights. Come on. Sonic Team normally forgets about knights. Just like they also forget about a lot of their other franchises. Just like Sega forgets a lot about their franchises. I'm still waiting for my Skies of Arcadia for, like, Steam or something. Please? Come on, you release Legends onto the Nintendo GameCube, and while it is fantastic, it doesn't support my component cables. These cost me an arm and a leg! Right. And two of a kind. At this rate, I'm just going to end up building up all of them until I show off knights. I want to show off knights! Why do you deny me? Please? Okay, the way is open. I can see it's open. God dang it. Nope. I'm not trying to go in there. I'm honestly not. I want to show off knights! Please? I am literally a hundred rings shy of getting the Chaos Emerald already. Wait, 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 wait. Yes! Finally, I've been trying to get in here. Let's get four of a kind. That's Riala. That's not four of a kind. God dang it. All right. Pretty much this is your best bet when getting a lot of pairs because there's so many cards right here. Furthermore, one thing that makes this a lot better is when you fall, you will actually get into a little Knight's cameo itself, which is the first stage of Knight's. Uh, I forget its name, though, unfortunately. All right, so we got a blue Idia, and we got two Wisemans. Let's get another Idia. Wiseman! Give me Wiseman! Give me Wiseman! Dang it, I want Wiseman. And I think that'll do a two pair. Yep, two pair. And time for knights. Full house. Wow, I've never gotten a full house there. 
I have enough rings to get the Chaos Emerald. Really? Hi, Knights. How's your franchise doing? Why are you being quiet? All right, this is before you actually had a voice actress who made you sound more like a girl than a guy. Or androgynous in general. Seriously, I can't, I can't stress enough how bad they butchered that. But we have enough rings to get the Chaos Emerald now, so we might as well do that. Well, I... Uh, that's not exactly what I was planning on doing for this stage, but, eh. Different from how I did in my original LP, I guess. Oh, God, this hurts. All right. Now, one thing about this stage that's actually rather annoying is if you don't have 400 rings, say, for example, in practice, I had 397, there's still an invisible wall that is up here that will block you. You need to get 400 rings, unfortunately. But there we go. We have ourselves the next Chaos Emerald, which looks just like a regular diamond. Yeah, not bad. But we got the Chaos Emerald, so the C mission is complete, and we get our sixth emblem. Thank you, Space. I needed that. Sonic, quick, spin dash! And Eggman completely botches the chance of ridding the world of his enemies once and for all, and also not getting a second Chaos Emerald. Oh man, what happened to that Emerald we just had? Uh, I guess Eggman's got one of them, but the other one's safe. That guy must be desperate. That means his two to our one, and that's not good. Come on, Sonic! We need to get busy! Well, I'm sorry. And there's your Cream the Rabbit cameo right here. Bye, Cream! See you in Sonic Advance 2! But, there we go. So, looks like Eggman's got himself two Chaos Emeralds to our one. Uh, you know, we're kind of lucky that he didn't capitalize on the fact that his two arch nemeses were, you know, completely incapacitated for an entire night in front of a casino to where he could have easily killed them and taken their other Chaos Emerald and then gotten the other Chaos Emeralds himself. But no, Eggman does not kill. He just completely, completely fucks up by accident. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end it off right here. This is Monroxus 1359. Next time, we're going to go and try and find ourselves another Chaos Emerald before Dr. Eggman does. See you guys next time.